Um, I, you know, I thought I would let you know that you, you did an okay job on your class presentation. You, you should have tried standing up tall and straight when you were presenting. It would have made it even better. Oh, and also, maybe even talking a bit louder since you sounded like a little mouse up there. <laughs> wait, I was kidding. Wait, wait, wait. To be honest, you did... You did... Um, you did great, okay? You did... You did all right. You did all right. So, I was curious. Are you... Are you, um, busy? Like, are you busy this weekend at all? Since, you know, winter break is coming up and, uh... Look, I, I want to spend some time with you so I can... So I can teach you how to do your presentations a little better. Since watching you present made me almost fall asleep on my desk. Hmm? What? Am I... Am I asking you out on a date? Uh... On a date? What... What do you mean? Where'd you get that idea from? All I'm trying to do is to help you out with your future presentation skills. And... And to do that, I need to spend time with you. Well, I mean... It's not like I want to spend my precious winter break time with you, especially not with a person like you. Well, okay, I, I do. I do want to spend my precious time with you, but I, I don't have a crush on you or anything related to that, okay? Just so we're on the same page. I don't like you. I just, I am just a little, little tiny bit interested in wanting to know more about you and to, of course, help you with your uh, future presentations, like I said earlier. Why? Well, why am I doing this? Well, does a peanut brain like you really need to know why? Jeez, fine. I'll tell you. I will tell you, so listen up closely. Um, how should I say it? Uh, well, first of all, you, you probably spend every single Christmas alone by yourself since you're a big weirdo, like the biggest weirdo ever. So, I'm... I'm going to make this Christmas for you different. I... Gosh, I can't believe I'm saying this. I... I want to make sure a loser like you doesn't have to spend Christmas alone. Not anymore. Okay? Are you happy now? You should be grateful. I... I could have asked other girls, but... I chose you, so consider yourself lucky. And to be, to be extra honest with you, should I say it? Does a dummy like you really deserve to hear what I'm about to say? Um, well, I guess it's fine. Uh, so I was saying, to be honest with you, I do kind of like you yeah i do kind of like you i do okay jeez don't make fun of me for liking a weirdo like you it's just that well you're so humble and beautiful that i couldn't stand seeing you all alone i mean i could but I could just leave you as it is, leave everything as it is, but I just felt like being nice to you 
yeah, just don't think this is any sort of special thing going on between us. It's, it's just me doing a good deed for once. All right. So, listen. Um, my parents are opening up a brand new restaurant this Saturday, and. I want to try the food out there, but I wanted to try it out with somebody, so I just randomly chose you. And I um, I also got these movie tickets that we can use afterwards. Are you uh, are you um, are you interested? I mean, I. I really, I honestly, really don't care whether or not you want to go with me. It really, really doesn't matter. So, uh, if you don't want to go, just say so. Like I said, I don't care. So, um, are you interested? Oh, that's what I thought. Oh, wait. Did you just say? Did you just say yes? You, you really, you really want to come? Oh, that's that's a relief. I mean, yeah, you'd better come. I mean, if you said no, then you're just being a simple idiot. Like free food and free movies, of course you'd come. Only, only an only an idiot would decline. So, uh, it's it's settled then. This Saturday, at seven p.m., is that timing all right with you? It is. Good. Okay. So, um, um, g- give me your number, s- so I can contact you and uh, give you the address of the place later. Oh, and not to mention, yeah, you are going to have to meet me there yourself. <laughs> I am not. I'm definitely not going to pick you up or anything. Got it? Well, yeah, of course. That's asking for too much. Okay. Here, here's my number. And, and you, you'd better not be late. If, if you're late, I'm, I'm going to make you pay for both of our meals. But. But if you're, if you're early, I'll, I'll handle it. Just, just don't be late. Gosh. Um, excuse me. You're, you're blushing. Why, why are you blushing? Hey, I don't want you getting the wrong idea. Don't ever. I repeat, do not ever think. That I'm in love with you or something, got it? Hmm. What? I'm, I'm what? I'm blushing too. You, you don't know that. Jeez, I guess, I guess there's no reason in hiding my redness. Hmm. Whatever. You're, you're blushing harder than me, though, you dummy. So you, should not be the one laughing, and giggling like a goofball. But, I have to admit, for some reason I. I feel warm seeing you, finally smile like that. It's just you always look so gloomy and sad. Ah, oh, jeez, what am I even saying to you? Ah, uh, I don't know anymore. I don't know. Ah, uh, maybe I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> Fine. I think, I think I love you. Okay. There, I said it. Said and done. And, and I am never, ever, saying that again. So don't expect me to ever say. That I um, that I, that I love you. Okay. 
so are you extra happy now that you know somebody in this world actually loves you? That being me. Anyways, this is pretty embarrassing. So I think I'm going to show myself out. I will I will see you on Saturday at 7 p.m. at the address texted to you. And remember, please, please don't be late. Wow, wait, I just said please. Dear gosh, I should just get going. Yeah, I think I'll do that.